Hello guys, in this video we'll tell you how to fix when snap layouts are not working in Windows 10 or 11. Before we start the video guys, if you have any computer or software related problems, please feel free to contact us by visiting our website and using the submit a problem button from there. Or comment down below on our videos about your problem and we'll make a video for you to resolve it. Number 1. Check your snap layout keyboard shortcuts. For this, try pressing window plus left arrow to snap a window to the left side of the screen or window plus right arrow to snap a window to the right side of the screen or similarly window plus up arrow to maximize a window or window plus down arrow to restore a window or minimize if it's maximized. Number 2. Ensure your snap layouts are enabled. For this, click on the start button and select settings from there the gear shaped icon. In the settings window, click on system. After that, select multitasking from the left hand side menu. After that, just simply ensure that the snap windows toggle switch is turned on. Number 3. Change your screen resolution. For this, right click on windows icon and select system from there. After that, select display from the left hand side menu. Then, scroll down and open the display resolution settings or just simply click on it. After that, choose a higher or lower resolution, whichever is best for your display. Number 4. Check for any Windows updates. For this, press Window plus I key to open the Windows settings. After that, click on Update and Security. In the Update and Security window, choose Windows Update from the left hand side menu. After that, click on Check for updates and let Windows search for any available updates and will automatically download them. After the updates are installed, restart your computer and check if the function key is working or not. Number 5. Restart your Windows Explorer. For this, access the task manager by pressing Shift plus Ctrl plus Escape. And in the task manager window, navigate to the processes tab. From there, select Windows Explorer, right click on it and select the restart option. Number 6. Check for any display driver updates. For this, press the Windows key plus R to open the run dialog box. In the run dialog box, type devmgmd.msc and click OK to open the device manager. Now in the device manager window, expand the display adapter section. After that, right click on display driver and choose uninstall driver. Make sure to uncheck the delete the driver software option if it shows up. Then go to top menu in the device manager and under the actions tab select scan for hardware changes. The driver should appear back in the list. If it does not, don't worry. Just simply restart your PC and it'll appear back. Then right click on the display driver again and choose update driver. And from there select search automatically for drivers. Window will scan for available driver updates and will automatically download them. And again restart your PC to apply the changes. If it didn't work, again right click on display driver and choose update driver. But this time, select browse my computer for driver software. Then select let me pick from a list of available drivers on my computer. From there, select the driver you want to install. Generally, it is a pre-selected top option in the list. And click next. After that, again restart your PC to apply the changes. If even that doesn't work, you can try going to a laptop or graphic card manufacturer's official website and downloading the latest driver for your specific model from there. And just simply install the driver you want to install and restart your PC to apply the changes. Number 7. Perform a system restore. To do this, type create a restore point in the Windows search box and then click on system restore under the system protection tab. From there, it will prompt you to select a certain date and open the restoring window. But if you previously created a restore point, you should utilize it. Otherwise, the computer will display a recommended date for restoration. Then click finish to complete the process. The finishing time is a few minutes. When finished, your computer will automatically reboot. Number 8. Check for any third party app conflicts. Like right click on start button, select apps and feature from there. And from there, locate your third party security software in the list and click on it and just simply select uninstall. So this was it for the video guys. We hope this video helped you solve your problem. If it did, then make sure that you give this video a like and subscribe to the channel. And if it did not, then don't worry. Just comment down below the issue and we'll try to figure out what is wrong with your specific case. Thank you for watching.